so i think it's also important for us to know a common error people do make when it gets to linearization and this error is not actually from their knowledge of physics the error is from their weak knowledge of mathematics your knowledge of math is very weak there are some common errors that you are going to commit when it comes to linearization you are not going to know that you are making error but if you are very good with mathematics people that know mathematics are going to tell you that what you have done is actually very wrong so i'm going to talk about that very briefly let's say for example you have p equal to k kq raised by n and we ask to linearize and our variables are p and q we already know that we use logarithm and this becomes log p equals log k plus n log q and from here we are plotting graph of log p against log q the slope is n and the intercept is what log k you know that this is what we are going to have well let's take an instance where instead of this we have uh maybe p equal to we have p equal to q minus n uh q let's say we have q minus n q plus c or should i put it in another way okay let's say we have a q squared plus b plus q so let's say this is what we have i want to linearize this now if i want to linearize this the mistake some people are going to make is they will still use logarithm for this and say log p equal to log a q squared plus b plus q my brother this is very wrong this is very wrong because this is actually not wrong is the next step that's going to make it to be wrong they will now say this is what log a q squared plus log b plus log q please this is exceptionally wrong you can't do something like this because what you are saying is that you are saying that when you have logarithm of addition it is the same thing as addition of logarithms that's what you are saying so that means that we are telling us that there is a law in mathematics that says that log a plus b is equal to log a plus log b this is what you are telling us that there is a law that whenever you are there is an addition in front of logarithm you can do the log uh, the addition of the logarithms that logarithm of addition is the same thing as addition of logarithm there is no law like that in mathematics the only law that we have is when you are having addition of logarithms what are we going to have you are going to pick one of the logarithms then multiply the numbers this is the law that we have there is no way in math where you are going to find this law it is not possible you can't even have it so i don't know where people are seeing this even if it's negative that you have maybe you have a minus b you have log you have log a minus b someone will now come and say this is log a minus log b this is wrong log a minus b is not log a minus b you are telling us that the logarithm of a difference is the same thing as the difference of the logarithms this is very wrong there is no way in mathematics where you are going to see this the only one that can be equal to this is log a over b if it is division then that's when you can change it to subtraction that's when it's going to be log a minus log b there is no law that addition of logarithm logarithm of addition is thing as addition of logarithm and there is no law that logarithm of subtraction is the same thing as subtraction of logarithm please if you are doing this you are very wrong let's take an instance let's say you have been asked to do log 2 minus 1 now you are telling us that it's going to be same thing as log 2 minus log 1 is that so let's simplify this this is same thing as log 1 
equal to log 2 0.3010 minus log 1 is what? 0. So what's log 1? That's 0 equal to 0 0.3010. Is 0 equal to 0 0.3010? No. So this is very wrong. All you have log 2 plus 1. You now say it is log 2 plus log 1. You are wrong. Because if you actually do this, this is what? Log 3. And log 2 is what? 0 0.3010. Log 1 is 0. What's log 3? 0 0.4771 equal to 0 0.3010. Is this number equal to this number? No, they are not equal. So that means you are wrong. So you should be careful. Whenever you have addition or subtraction, do not use log reading. I've said this before, but I still see people making this same mistake. That's why I have to like talk about this separately do not make mistake of using logarithm on addition or subtraction so i think i should write this that log a plus or minus b is not equal to please it is not equal to what log a plus or minus log b they are not equal they are not equal so please do not do this if you are doing this, you are wrong. If you are doing it, you are very wrong. So that is one of the common errors that people do make. And it is what? As a result of very weak knowledge of math. If you have very weak knowledge of math, you are still going to have a problem in physics. Because you have to use that mathematics in your physics. So if you are doing something that is wrong, please. This is a correction against that mistake. So do not make that mistake again.